Well, it's August 19th. I'm headed out to put a few more cameras up. Um, pictures are actually dropping from the cameras that are previously out right now. Um, I think that the deer kind of, oh, I don't know, changing a little bit of the routine and patterns. I don't know if it's because the acorns are coming in or um, just weather or just kind of typically what they do. But um, we're going to go out. I've got three cameras here that I'm going to try to get set up and um, try to get them in draws and pinch points, transition areas, if you will. I know it sounds cliche, but I might even hang one on a big area where I think uh, I think these deer and bucks are going out to feed in our big soybean fields and on the hill edges. So um, we'll get them out. We'll see what's going on. Let them run for, I don't know, seven days, ten days. Go in and check just to make sure. And, That'll put us right towards the first part of September, then we'll stay out for two weeks till the opener on the 15th, so. One camera out, we're gonna go and put another one in the spot that I call the circle food plot, so. A lot of deer transition through there, so. Hopefully, we'll continue to do the same through the summer months. going down in this hole I guess what I call the circle food plot so get down there and see if we can't get it set up Second camera, <clears throat> down on the circle food plot is what we call it. Good transition from our clover field that's just on top of the hill, and this is bedding all throughout, so um, I think it's a good spot. I gotta stand right over here, so. Typically don't hang a camera down here until about late August anyway, it's the 19th, so. I think this is where the deer are gonna wanna start traveling through. Thank you.